we often hear relationship coaches and counselors advise things to do in a relationship. And one of this is that you should not have sex too early in a relationship or not even have it at all before marriage. But what happens when you make that mistake? Sometimes you make that mistake everyone makes mistakes and sometimes you find yourself in that mistake too early in a relationship you got to bed what do you do in the situation as a woman Hello, my name is Lovely Kerry. This is Mate TV, and today I want to be giving you clues to help you to stop overflogging yourself over the mistake you have made. And here is what I have to say today. If you, you have had sex too early in a relationship, what do you do? I know that you must have been overflogging yourself and blaming yourself. But wait a minute, let me tell you, it is natural. It is natural to it is natural to feel aroused when you meet someone you are in love with. It is natural to be carried away. And let me tell you why you easily fail. Still trust yourself. Why you easily fail was because you've not been doing it. So I still trust you and I still want you to trust yourself. It's easy for someone who has been abstaining to easily fall into sex. That's someone who does it more frequently. So I think for that, I'm not trying to justify you, but I'm trying to let you uh I'm trying to let you get back to yourself and stop blaming yourself for what happened. Now what happened has gone. It's, the deed has been done. So what do you do now? Remember, I told you everybody makes mistakes. You didn't really want to do it, but you found yourself doing it. Most likely on your first date, on your second date, you find yourself, I'm talking to you now as a woman, you found yourself having sex with your crush having sex with that guy too soon into the marriage remember it's it's not okay it's not okay and i'm not encouraging you either i'm not encouraging you either to have sex before marriage but when it happens what do you do don't just sit there and cry don't just sit there and cry or try to act up or try to show that you are pissed off the bottom line is when you did this thing you actually enjoyed it whether you planned it or not that is the fact why most relationship that have had sex earlier may not end in something tangible but at least a percentage of this may still end in something serious there are even some guys who will see having sex with a woman as opportunity to have to tie her down to have something to do with that because most time when there is sex in a relationship it is the woman who it is the woman who carries the emotion the man doesn't feel it more than anything beyond that level it's just a physical thing it's just a thing of the moment for a guy so now that you have done it already and you have been flogging yourself you're feeling sad you even cried, you even called him, you be, maybe he didn't even call you immediately, you've called and called, he's not picking, you have sent horrible text messages, mm -mm. that is so wrong, that is so wrong. Do you know that you can still get that man back? After all, even if you have not had sex with him, if he is not going to do anything serious with you, he will still not have time it will still not give you attention and even if you have done it what will be will still be 
So now that you have done it, you can get your dignity back. You did it, you didn't plan for it. Now you have to get your dignity back. You are a woman of value. You can still be that woman of value you want to be. So how do we go about it? It's not texting, it's not calling. You've had sex to son and you're, you like this guy and you're feeling ooh, you are losing it. Hey, don't flog yourself like I said. Calm down. You can actually reorder things. You can reorder things the way, think, the way you want things to be. Don't cry. That's rule number one. Don't cry. You have to show that you are independent. Don't cry. Don't call the guy and start to cry and start to real insults and abuses. In the first place, you know that you caused it. A man cannot have what you don't give to him. It is normal for any man to want to open your laps if you allow him. If you allow him, he will open your laps. But if you don't allow him, he can't go beyond what the boundaries you give to him. So the first rule I'm giving you today to what, what to do when you've had sex too soon in a marriage is to not cry. Do not cry. cry. Stay calm. So, you know, means most likely he has done what he has wanted to get and he has, uh, he has gotten his gratification. He may not just call you for a while. So what do you do? You can send him a text. Send in a text. How are you? Then, what mistake we make is because maybe you are churchy, you are churchy, you have been that kind of decent girl. Well, you want to feel that it's not okay to say that you enjoyed it. You can send a message to show that you acknowledge what happened. Let him know that yes, it's something you enjoyed. But then you wouldn't, you want to know his take on what happened. Yes. Let him know that you enjoyed what happened. And then also you want to know his take on what happened. Let him know also that you don't want this to happen again. You don't want it to happen again. So if he is into you, he will likely call. He will likely call. Remember that by telling him that you show that you are mature. And by telling him that you really enjoyed it, you are, you are trying to arouse his emotion. Because by doing that, he will have felt that he hurts you. You may not even know that he's also feeling dirty himself and also trying to, uh, also trying to reconcile with himself by staying away. So if you break the silence by just this simple act of, oh, I acknowledge what we did, I enjoyed it, I didn't plan for this, and I don't want it to happen. You are making your stand known. So now you are not trying to, you are not trying to enslave yourself emotionally to him because of what happened. You are showing that you are independent and you are in control. The man will respect you. He will call back. He will call back. So after this, after this, you have to set boundaries. Boundaries. There is this saying that you, if you don't want to be wet, there is this saying in my place that if you don't want to be wet, you don't go near the river. Now that the connection, now that this, is, has, this has happened, and you know, it only takes once. It only takes once. Remember, you've made a mistake just for once. It's okay to make mistake once. If you repeat the same mistake, it is foolishness. If you repeat that same mistake, it is foolishness. You don't want to repeat that mistake again. So what happens next? You make sure that you don't stay in a closed place together. You don't stay in a closed place together. And then if you have to be in a enclosed place for a while, Make sure you, you cover yourself. Don't wear sexy clothes that can easily uh, that can easily turn him on or make him funny. So don't expose yourself to it again. So this is how you can maintain your value before that man if you've done it before. Remember, I told you earlier, it's not okay to have sex too soon in a relationship. It's not even okay to have sex at all before or marriage is not okay but sometimes we find ourselves 
in this mistake. Everyone makes mistake, and that is a proof of progress. That's a proof of existence. But it's only bad if you repeat that same mistake again. So, having done all this, the guy will contact you. And if he doesn't, if he doesn't, remember it's a 50 50 thing. If he doesn't contact you, just be mature enough to let him go. Don't start chasing him around with phone calls. Know that this has happened and you have learned your lesson. But if he really values you and uh, he had something important for you in life, he will surely come back. But you have to note that the guy may want to come back to continue what he has started before. And that is having sex with you. So it's left for you to maintain your stand. To declare what you want in a relationship. And if you discover that it's not giving you the attention, the attention you need, the attention you need that makes you feel valued, just withdraw. Just withdraw. Then consequently, when you contact, don't contact to challenge him on what has happened. That has passed. You just greet and say hi as usual. So if he is calling you to come. If he is calling you to come stay in his place or to come stay in your place, let him know clearly. It shows that you are a woman of value. Let him know clearly that you are not ready to be in an enclosed place with him for, for, the, for the time being and that you want both of you to set boundaries. Just set boundaries. Then be a happy person. Be happy with yourself. Be happy with your decisions. If at all is not coming back, a better person will come back. To you mind you I said even if he was not going to give you even if you had not had anything any intimacy with him if he was not going to be serious with you he will still not be serious with you vice versa if he has also had intimacy with you if he had wanted to he will continue like I said there are some guys who will want that opportunity to bear a, a lady so that they can get attention because they know that women women can be emotional with that and that's why some women's eyes get blindfolded when they get when they get intimate too early with a guy you won't be able to see the red flags you won't be able to see the red flag so you've done it before even if this one doesn't come again let this be a lesson to you that no matter the pressure you hold your brain you hold your mind don't car get carried away by whatever a guy does to go too soon with him intimately is not okay but you can still get that guy back by working on yourself get busy show that you are happy get busy work more on yourself and then don't start pursuing him around with calls or stay on your phone to start waiting for its text or call it's not okay be independent every man wants a woman that is independent on her own so move on if he wants you he will he will take that challenge and come back to pursue you don't be the one pursuing you i hope you won't flog yourself any longer but i most importantly i hope you won't make that mistake again but i tell you if you position yourself like just like i have told you you can get him back and be happy again thank you for watching my name is lovely Harry. don't flog yourself and then don't forget also to subscribe because i'll be giving you more of these tips on this same channel thank you so much